Well, there's the end of the clouds. Yeah. Oh, there really? Comes, there comes the smoke. Uh, there's your smoke. There is your smoke. That's yeah, quite a bit. We lost a uh, localizer. And I don't uh, see You got it? Yeah. I got the runway. Keep going. I'm really glad I'm very familiar with this area. Bill, Joe, and I enjoyed a relaxing evening in beautiful Friday Harbor. Now, for the last three legs home. And after that, stay right here for a debrief on this entire Alaska flying adventure. With a scattered overcast, we'll depart Friday Harbor VFR. Expecting some smoke in Medford, but for the first time in two weeks, no risk of icing. Welcome aboard. All right, VFR, pick it up, IFR on the way out. Do we yeah. want it? Okay. Yep. Friday Harbor traffic, uh, Cessna 66 Sierra taking runway 16, take off departure to the south. Friday Harbor. Approaching runway 16. There you go. 50. And 60. Yeehaw! <laughs> uh, yeah. Pretty, pretty. All right. Actually, if you want to fly, I can do the radios. I'll be happy to. Okay. My plane. My radios. We'll finish our climb after this little overcast. Or broken, or whatever it is. Yeah. Okay. We'd be approached, Skyline November 7266 CR request. Skyline 7266 CR, we'll be approached, go ahead. Uh, good morning, 66 CR, we're just off Friday Harbor, maybe uh, 10 to the southeast. Uh, 182 slash golf, we'd like flight following down to uh, Medford if you have time. Skyline 66 CR, squawk 0156, we'll be out to 30012. All right, 0156, 3012, 66 Sierra. Okay. When they give you a squawk code, yes, that's allowing them to follow you. That's giving Skyline them a signal. Air, radar contact Smith Island, three miles west, three thousand five hundred. Uh, position altitude check, six six zero. Yeah, that's a dis what they call a discrete code, and so uh, on their radar, yeah, they see zero one five six. And it's got our little Cessna, and uh, it says where we're going, okay. and it just follows okay. it. And so when they hand us off to the next controller, you know, he'll just look and go, okay, there they are. And then 66 Sierra, reset transponder squad 4756. 4756 for 66 Sierra. And that resetting this squawk, Joe, was probably the 0156 was like a local code. Uh -huh. And then once she figured out Indeed, we're going to Medford. She gave us more of a, a distance code. Probably something she could pass on. Uh, right. The snowcap peaks at 2.30, are the Olympics? I think so. Hey, Herb. I think it's going to work out. You're just going to split. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. November. Seattle Pro, Skylane 7266 here is with you, climbing out of uh, 58 for 95. September 7266 here, Seattle Pro, thank you. Remain outside the Seattle Class Bravo airspace. I uh, understand, uh, outside the uh, Seattle Class Bravo for 66 here. Well, there's the end of the clouds. Yeah. Oh, there really? Comes, here comes the smoke. Uh. Okay, one hour out. Plus, maybe a little approach time if we need it. Skyline 66 Sierra, you are cleared to the Medford Airport via Roseburg as filed. The 17 9000. Cleared to Medford, uh, direct Roseburg to as filed. Uh, to the 17 9000. 766 Sierra, thank you. 766 Sierra, no problem. Okay. Uh, you're airplane my radios. Okay. Well, how's the terrain for a 
Mostly straight in look. Looks okay. I think you and I shot the the approach into 3-2 like six years ago. Could be. And there's like an arc on it. November 7266 Sierra, contact Cascade Approach 119.6. 196 for 66 Sierra. Cascade Approach, Skylane 7266 Sierra is with you, 9000. Number 7266 Sierra, Cascade Approach, Eugene Altimeter 3011. 3011 for 66 Sierra, thanks. Uh, and uh, Cascade Approach for 66 Sierra, do you know what uh, runway they're using in uh, Bedford? Number 66 Sierra, runway 14, they're using the uh, ILSs, looks like visibility is 3 miles smoke, ceiling 3200 over Cascade. Perfect, thanks for your help, 66 Sierra. For the ILS 14, from Sammy. Okay. And once he gets us around the, uh, the TFRs, he'll probably vector us. Yeah, probably. Okay, pilot control lighting, is it, that is the correct uh, frequency? 45 minutes. Number 660, your contact Seattle Center, 127.55, good day. 2755 for 660. Seattle Center, good afternoon. Skylane 7266, here is with the 9000. Number 7266 here, Seattle Center, good afternoon. Rosemary Altimeter 3010. 1066 here. Are we basically following Highway 5? Pretty much. It's off to our left right now, making a big turn. Okay. So that's you right down there. So we're at 9000. Correct. Why are we not at 95? We're, we're IFR now. Oh, you are? We picked up a clearance oh. about, I don't know, 30 miles back. And and why are you IFR? Probably need it to get into Medford. It's uh, overcast and low visibility. Oh, okay. We're just coming up on Roseburg now. Yeah. Number 66 Sierra, contact casket approach 124.3. 24.3 for 66 Sierra, thanks. Cascade approach, Skylane November 7266 Sierra is with you, 9000. Number 7266 Sierra, Cascade Approach, Medford Altimeter 3004. 04 for 66 Sierra. Well, why don't we do, okay, so how about my radios, your plane now? Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, let me get the minimum again. What was it, 1553? Correct, 1553. Yeah, okay. I wrote it on the plate. Okay. Well, that's a good place for it. Right there. How smart are you? Um, I guess I'm getting scribble happy. <laughs> That's interesting. Now, when you do an annotation, it writes it on the map, but doesn't write it on the plate. Okay, I did it on the plate. You could do it on the map. Do it. Maybe you did it all on the plate. Oh, I did it on the plate, and it burns through to the map. But my suggestion is write on the plate because it's a plate-specific thing. Number seven two six six here. Do you want direct Sammy? Uh, we could take direct Sammy, Fiesta, or Amas. Six six here. Number 660, clear direct Sammy. Direct Sammy, 660. Okay, direct Sammy. Direct Sammy, Sammy level 9000. Correct. We expect a bit of a descent. Number 7266, Sierra, 10 miles from Sammy, cross Sammy, out or above 7000, cleared ILS 14 approach. Cross Sammy, out or above 7000, clear for the ILS 14660, Sierra. Thanks. That answers that. There's your smoke. There is your smoke. Yeah, that's quite a bit. Good, localizer okay, coming in. Whiskey, approach to 700. 700, coming up on the localizer. Oh, looks like the glide slope's active too already. Yep. We lost the flag, so looking good. All right. Just above the glide slope, that's not a bad place that's to be. That's the place to be, the place. And there's Fiesta. And when you go to tower, let's just confirm the lights are on and up. Okay, we'll do. Welcome to Medford. Yeah, <laughs> a little bumpy yeah. and smoky. We're trying to look, look relaxed for the video. Skyline <laughs> 660, contact Medford Tower, one minute. More importantly for the passenger. Over to Tower 660, Sierra. have a great day. Tower Skyline 7266, Sierra, ILS 14, full stop. Skyline 7266, Sierra, Medford Tower, if able, keep your speed up on your approach. Runway 14, clear to land. Keep speed up, 14, clear to land, 660, Sierra. And tower, can we get the lights on and all the way up, please? Six six zero. Skyline 
Charlie 6 6 Sierra, roger. Current visibility, approximately 6. Okay. Roger, 6 6 Sierra. We got less than that here, but that's cool. Charlie 6 6 Sierra, lights are on max. Thanks much, 6 6 Sierra. Okay. A little about the glide slope. You can smell the smoke. Yeah. Glide slope's right on the money. Again, it gets some visibility here. This is called Table Mountain. I want to go past it. Yeah. That's where the VOR is. That went off. We lost a uh, localizer. Not here on the autopilot. See this flashing? Yep. yep. I don't know what that is. Yeah, you you were left, of course. Yeah. Correcting. Crucify the needles. Yep. Looks good to me. I don't have the airport yet, do you? Uh, I imagine I do, but I'm not sure I do. Okay. Well, the needles are across, so that's all we care about. Yep. About a thousand feet to go. I think I see lights. Unless it's sun reflection. I don't see anything yet, but I believe you. Two mile final runway one four. And I don't uh, see it. You got it? Yeah. I got the runway. Keep going. It's, oh, I got it's it. a I got little it. left. Got than it you now. Think. All right, boy. Hey, got the carriage. Props. Redemption is sweet. Nice job, Bill. Tower 66 here, we're going to Millionaire. I wonder what happened on the autopilot, it just went wonky. I saw that. Yeah, you see how it's still flashing? We spent a lovely afternoon, oh darn, just savoring the Southern Oregon wine area. For the final day of our trip, decent on departure, a bit smoky in San Jose, and no expected issues en route. Can I give one more chance to take off? You may. I'd love to. You want to take a taxi from here? Yeah, let me take it. Play my radios. Skyline 7266 Sierra, proceed on course, runway 14, clear for takeoff, wing calm. All right, on course, clear for takeoff, 1-4, uh, 6 6 yards. we're rolling. And I got mixture forward, prop forward. Yep. Good. Little nose forward, just a bit. There you go. It should almost just fly off the ground. Okay. There's 55, 58, 60. And one last, yee-haw! <laughs> And climb at 80, you'll get, you're at 70 now. Climb at 80, you'll get you about roughly the same feet per minute. Okay, flaps up? Uh, yeah. Skyline 7266 Sierra, contact Cascade departure 124.3. Good morning. Off to Cascade, thanks for your help. 66 Sierra. Cascade departure, Skyline November 7266 Sierra is with you at 2200 for 95. Number 7266 Sierra, Cascade Departure, radar contact, and what altitude are you climbing to? Uh, 9.5 is our final today for 66 Sierra. Number 7266 Sierra, copy thanks. So this is going to be Highway 5, that direction. Okay. If you don't want to follow that route that we put in. Okay. Let's go 5. Down toward Ashland. Yeah. We can put that in. It's CRF-03. Uh, I can still see the ground. Yeah, I can see the mountains. Yep. Above the smoke. Look at one little ridge left. Yep. All right, 900,000 looking for 55. Hey, firm. This is thick. Yeah. Hey, Jose? Yes. Bill and I were debating, I think when you were offline, of the wisdom of maybe uh, pulling out N95 fast. Because? Because it's pretty shitty. Oh, uh, smoke-wise. Oh, for smoke. 
I mean, if we were going to live another 50 years, that would be really smart. Well, fortunately, that's not that likely. Fortunately, it's not likely. We've got Mount Diablo up here, which isn't terribly high, but it's there. Number 66 Sierra, contact Marco approach, 125.35. 12535, 66 Sierra, good day. Good day. Looks like it's going to come up on your side, 3,500 feet. Yep. Oh, we'll stop at 55, so we're Sounds good. good. NorCal, Skyline, November 7266, Sierra, 8,000, uh, descending. 6-0, NorCal, Frost, open oscillator, 10 or 8-6. 8-6, thanks. Uh, 6 here. 2,000 to go. And what do you do here? You went to right downwind? Yeah. And it's supposed to be 6 miles visibility. And he used to load the approach, maybe. Yeah, go ahead. Should be a mountain at uh, 2 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah, I, I got it. Okay. There's going to be another mountain up there right at that second lake. You can see it. Mission Peak. They're like 25, 2600. Okay, yeah, I see. Yeah. 500 to go. All right, we're level 5.5. I can almost see Livermore. Oh, there's Livermore right under us. That's a good place to be. Well, six six zero to send uh, VFR out of below four thousand five hundred. To send below four thousand five hundred six six zero. I'm stopping at forty five. I'm going to hold that all the way to the lake. I think. That's a good idea. Alien six six zero contact Reed Hill View Tower. Good day. Okay. Over to Tower. Good day six six zero. Reed Hill View Tower Skyline November seven two six six zero. We're uh, one two miles to the northeast. Uh, descending, full stop. Sign 7660, RDV Tower, make right traffic, good morning, 31 right, verify Tango. Affirmative Tango, right traffic, 31 right, 660. I'm really glad I'm very familiar with this area. This, I would shoot the approach. If I was coming into anywhere, I'd be shooting the approach. Oh, I would have. Right on the edge of the foothills. Home sweet home, all right, down to 1100. All right, gas fuel mixture's coming up, props coming up. Bills on both, down flaps open, lights. Here we go. All right. This really isn't actually all that bad. All right, on down to 1100. There's the airport. Yeah, you got it. So how far out are we? Four miles. Definitely VFR. At this altitude. Yeah, it is. It's going 660, runway 31 right, clear to land. 31 right, clear to land, 660. He's worked out pretty well. Yep, perfect, perfect. We've done that before. I uh, think. I'm six six here. Contact them. Go to ground. Six six here. In part one of this series, we laid out a general calendar schedule, including two buffer days. Amazingly, despite persistently low cloud bases and freezing levels, we adapted to the weather, allowing us instead a day off in Ketchikan and a wine tasting afternoon in Medford. Flight planning also came out well, expecting 46 hours airtime and coming in at 44 hours and change, with only one major disappointment being our weather scratch on Denali. On the expenses side, despite my underestimating the living costs in Alaska, we pleasantly came in just under budget. And much like our previous flying adventures to the Caribbean and Latin America, we continue to learn how to make these trips safe and enjoyable.
is about as spectacular. If you enjoyed this video, please smash the thumbs up, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications. Thanks for flying with us.